So guys, one of the most exciting things about owning a Tesla is that even years after buying the car, it keeps getting better through software updates. Every few months, something new drops that has features that we didn't even know were even possible. And this time, they've gone beyond the small convenience features. They've actually unlocked an ability that owners have long been asking for that came on the Cybertruck. Something that completely changes how people use their Teslas day to day, especially for road trips, camping, and even emergency situations. Since the release of the Cybertruck, many new options have slowly made its way down to the line, giving it all to the latest vehicles. The Cyber design not only brought exciting new look with the iconic front and rear light bar, but it also brought a handful of new features first, with some of them being the ambient lighting, a rear display, and it drained the plug for the new frunk. However, out of all the things that was brought down from the Cybertruck, there was one thing that didn't make the list, and it's the one that all of us have been waiting for. This one option was assumed to not be possible due to physical limitations. However, it seems like Tesla has managed to enable this function to certain vehicles through a simple software update. Just this week, Tesla has begun rolling out a new software, announcing a major new capability that everyone has been asking for, the highlight of this release version 2025.32.300 is the newly enabled external discharge function allowing the Model Y L to power external devices through vehicle to load capabilities. This feature transforms the car into a mobile power source capable of supplying electricity through a 120 volt outlet on the Tesla's outlet adapter. The Model Y L is the first variant in Tesla's lineup aside from the Cybertruck to have the official support, suggesting that the broader rollout could follow once adapter hardware becomes available. Vehicle to load allows owners to draw power directly from their vehicle's high voltage battery, typically offering 3.6 kilowatts to 9.6 kilowatts of output depending on the configuration. Similar functionality has been included in other EV brands whose onboard system can charge e-bikes, laptops, and even other electric vehicles. Alright guys, so we've been waiting so long for this. To a lot of people, this might not be the biggest deal ever. It's easy to focus on big flashy updates that comes around during the holiday seasons. But this one here, honestly, is the one that could change the entire ownership experience. The times that you go camping wishing that you could plug in simple appliances like an electric portable stovetop, a coffee machine, or even external lights to light up the campsite, all of this was just really not possible without bringing an external battery bank. But now all of this changes with a simple software update that is compatible with the Model Y and it will slowly roll out and expand to all other vehicles as they start shipping out new production batches. Now, in other news, Tesla has quietly rolled out a new customer-friendly policy that automatically extends active subscriptions and free trials for vehicles that remain in service for more than one business day. The goal is to ensure owners don't lose access to paid features like full self-driving or premium connectivity while their cars are being repaired a small but meaningful change aimed at improving the overall ownership experience. The update first came to light when Homar's blog shared a recent service appointment reminder. The message notes that if a repair takes longer than a business day, Tesla will automatically extend any active subscription or trial periods. There's no manual request required and nothing for service advisors to handle. The process is entirely automated through Tesla's integrated service software, a subtle improvement but one that will be especially appreciated by those using limited time trials. The policy applies to all monthly Tesla services, including full self-driving subscription, premium connectivity, wheel and tire protection, and windshield protection. Beyond this, Tesla has also launched a new initiative in the US called Tesla Ride, designed to give more people hands-on experience with Tesla vehicles and features like full self-driving. As Tesla describes it, we'll come to you and take you where you want to go, hop in the driver's seat, and a Tesla advisor will join you in your co-pilot. They'll walk you through the latest comfort settings, games for kids, and Grok AI, your in-car AI companion who will answer all your questions and tell you different stories. So there you have it guys, Tesla has rolled out one of the most practical updates we've seen in years. The new vehicle to load capabilities doesn't just add a new feature, it opens up a completely different way to use your Tesla in your everyday life. So whether you're camping off grid, powering small appliances during a power outage, or just running tools on a remote site, 
your car can now become a dependable energy source right on the go and on demand. And the best part about this is that it all happens through a simple OTA update, no retrofits, no dealership visits, a notification just appears on your screen and suddenly your car can power everything externally. Now, of course, my personal favorite here is going to be the camping options. I've been saying this for many, many times now, but aside from the appliances and everything we've previously just mentioned, I'm already thinking about getting an extension cable and wiring it back inside of the car at night. And while I'm inside of the cabin, I can power things like my MacBook, a heated mattress pad, and even a TV and an Xbox. If I really wanted to kick things up another level, there is just really endless opportunities and possibilities here. You can practically do every single thing that you can do at home. Now, I also have to say that the coolest part about all this is that even aside from the gimmicky extension cable that you wire back into your car, you can even buy one of those splitters and have multiple 120 volt outlets. You can plug in your coffee machine, your cook stove, you can plug in a TV, Xbox all at once. And you can power everything while you're camping inside or outside of your car. It's just all so amazing right now and I can't wait to try it out. Now, all of this is starting to roll out on the Model Y L in China. Of course, they get everything first, but the Model Y performance has been confirmed and very likely in another point update, they are going to roll out the exact same and they are gonna enable the vehicle to load function. This is going to require an additional adapter that you can buy directly from the Tesla online store and simply plug it into your charging port and everything will happen on the opposite direction. Now, as for the rest of the lineup, with the software now rolling out and we're seeing it on three separate vehicles now, the Cybertruck, Model Y L, and Model Y Performance, there's no doubt that they are going to make this a standard on the rest of the lineup. In a matter of time, they are gonna roll out new vehicles with the hardware and they are going to make this one of the standard features. Obviously, I'm super, super excited for this. I can't wait to see the first demos, first reviews of this, but I do wanna leave you guys a question here. How long do you think until Tesla really, really integrates it into the cabin of the car, just like the Cybertruck? When are we going to be seeing the 120 volt outlet in the center console as well as in the trunk? This is going to be such an amazing thing and super, super thrilled to see that Tesla is going ahead starting with the software updates. I, of course, will continue to keep an eye out for anything that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit the subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't done so already and follow me on X at hey John E. Over there, you will see things that you wouldn't see over here and you can chat with me anytime. I'll respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.